Hey, welcome back. Today, we are going to be talking about one of the most crucial aspects of improving your billiards game, the pre-shot routine. You hear people talk about it all the time, it's something that I recommend for pretty much everybody. If you want that consistency in your game, whether you are a complete beginner or someone who's just looking on improving their skills, this is the video for you. We're going to talk about why the pre-shot routine is important. I'm going to demonstrate what I do for my pre-shot routine. And I encourage you all watching this video to take these tips and to integrate that into your game and make it your own. So let's dive right in. So now we want to talk about why the pre-shot routine is so important. And it really just comes down to that one term that we hear all the time, consistency. Consistency is key. It's going to help you reduce the amount of errors that you make in your game because your body's going to know what to expect. Your mind is going to know what to expect when you're dropping into that same routine every single time. It's gonna help you get better results overall. Your performance is gonna be better overall. And you're gonna know what to expect from yourself and your game. That also, in my sense, it kind of drops you into this sort of zen mode where it's very repetitive. It's that consistency of going into the same thing over and over and over. There's something reassuring about that too. So I think it just feels good to have a consistent pre-shot routine. So what I'm gonna do next is set up a very simple shot here on the table to demonstrate my current pre-shot routine. And what you want to do in your own practice is have something set up just like this, where it's the same shot every single time, and then find what style works for you. You do not have to copy mine exactly, and there's certainly a continuum between players who are a little bit more mechanical, methodical, like myself, and somebody who plays more like a feel player, who's kind of in their rhythm, they find their own tempo, and they do whatever feels good in the moment. So the first thing we're going to do here is take a look at my normal pre-shot routine without any specific commentary. And you'll see this shot is very straight in, but the pre-shot routine would be the same with a cut shot. And here is another angle on the very same shot from behind. Okay, so now that we've seen a few examples, let's break it down. The first step in my routine is to get behind the ball. And what I mean by that is you have to sight the line from the pocket to the object ball and see how the object ball is going to travel along that line towards the pocket. You want to walk over to that line, look through the object ball to the pocket, and then what I do is kind of sidestep from there over to my standing position behind the cue ball. And I think this just helps with body alignment, making sure that the straightness of your stroke is going to go through that line so we're not making any kind of compensations or adjustments adjustments through that straight line. Step number two is to chalk the cue. For me, it's about getting good coverage. It does help me settle a little bit. So I think there's sort of a sensory piece to this. And I do try to chalk the same way every time. There's that consistency again. Next step is the pre-stroke. So I've slowed this one down. But while standing behind the cue ball, I give a couple strokes in the air just getting a feel for the shot, getting a feel for the speed before I even get down on it. This next step is about getting down on the cue ball in a straight line. And I've been thinking about this more recently. It's something I've adopted into my game within the last few months. It's something that Fedder does all the time. But the way that I like to think about it is you're basically using the straight line of the cue to reinforce the straight line of your body behind the cue ball. Step five is to set and check. And what I mean by that is now that you are down on the cue ball, you're gonna be moving your eyes between the cue ball and the object ball. And lots of different players have preferences on this. I suggest you just experiment with it and find your own. Some people like to stay focused on the object ball the whole time or the cue ball. Some like to sight in the pocket. I tend to do a combination of the three. So when I first get down, I set on the cue ball, make sure that my tip position is good with some very slight pre-strokes on the cue ball. And that's something that I've changed in the last few years as well, is to not take such exaggerated pre-strokes while I'm down on the ball. 
when you're down there, usually you'll have a feel for whether or not you are properly aligned and you have to listen to that voice. If you get down and your brain is telling you this isn't right or we're going to miss or something else comes up that's negative or distracting you from making the ball, you have to stand back up and reset and take it back to one. Last three points on this list are more about the actual shot than the pre-shot, but I included them just for the sake of completeness here. We focus on having a slow backswing, which I've talked about in another video. You can check out that one in the card here. Then we want a smooth follow through all the way through the cue ball, and we want to have a long finish. So staying down long after you've made contact with the cue ball just encourages that stillness in the body and the smoothness of the stroke overall. Here is some bonus footage of utilizing breathing exercises as part of the pre-shot routine. And we'll take a look at this in future videos. actually really interesting something I noticed just now while preparing this video and getting these different establishing shots and some of the b-roll and everything when I did that deep breathing routine before getting down on the shot and as I was getting down on the shot that last shot the one that you just saw in the video was the one that felt the best so far in this session so worthy of noting something that I might want to be incorporating in my routine as well and I would recommend you guys try that out just big deep breaths before you get down on the shot and a big exhale as you get down onto that final shot and those pre-shot strokes. So there you have it. That is a practice routine showing my PSR, my pre-shot routine. And as I said, you do not have to copy this bit for bit. Let's go out there and practice, find what feels right for you. The consistency is gonna come from practicing this, really drilling it in. Whether it's league nights when you're out there, if you're able to practice at home, or if you just head out to the pool hall and shoot around a little bit, try these different exercises, try to change it up, go for a different amount of pre-shot strokes, go for a different timing, rush it a little bit, slow it down a little bit, see what feels best for you, and then just try to replicate that over and over and over. I hope this was useful for you guys today. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, it helps out a lot, and I will see you again in the next video.